what's good y'all it's boy ross back out again with another video so i wanted to do another commentary style video talking about la knight and his potential future uh in wwe for the remainder of this year i think a lot of us uh are wanting him to uh uh, really get a, a major push or some type of push uh, this year. That way, you know, we can really see a new star arise in front of us. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen, and I'm pretty sure some of you guys have seen, just the 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 recent wave of how many people are really enjoying LA Knight. They love his catchphrase. They they love the way he delivers promos. He gets a good reaction even though he is a heel um i think the greatest or well, well, an, an example of his popularity growing it was the uh smackdown before wrestlemania a couple weeks ago and they had the uh andre memorial battle royal match and la knight was one of the last few people and he was getting a very good pop of like a very good crowd reaction when he was out there and when he got eliminated there were so many boos like people were legitimately upset about that which is a good thing and then you know it's just one of those things where it's like you can see that reaction I'm like, okay people are really they they're buying into him every time he says yeah people say it with him you know it's it's one of those type of things where he's so good on the microphone even though he's supposed to be a heel people still love you know and find him entertaining and that's a very good quality to have especially with the wwe fan base because sometimes you know <laughs> when they go to these shows they can just be sitting there and not giving you no type of reaction but anytime la knight comes out he gets a rat a reaction and a positive one I know um, they really dropped the ball with him not being at WrestleMania, not, not being on the show. I feel like you could have took it, taken out Shane McMahon and put LA Knight in that spot to go against The Miz. Granted, once again, Miz is a heel, LA Knight is a heel, but I think it would have worked. He would have got a great reaction, a great pop, and I think just giving him like a five minute match so that people can get behind him, it would have been cool. And it would have been a cool WrestleMania moment for him to get that big reaction. Because best believe, if he would have came out there, the fans would have went crazy. It, it, they they would have got a really good, they would have given him a really good pop. And I think he deserves that. I think that was a missed opportunity by WWE. And honestly... I think Triple H needs to do whatever he can to protect this version of LA Knight. We all know Vince is back and he's been back for a while. And we all know before Vince left, when LA Knight got called up to the main roster, they had put him with that uh, model group. He was like a like a, a manager, an agent for the models, uh, the, the male models. And it just, it, it didn't go nowhere. And when Triple H took over, he brought LA Knight back, and that's what we needed to see. And it, he's one of these individuals that, even though he was feuding with Bray Wyatt, and the feud uh, kind of, you know, kind of went off the rails, and he didn't even win the feud, he, in my opinion, came out better than Bray Wyatt at the end of this feud, and he lost. People still were buying into him. People started really still caring about him you know sometimes a few like that that's not even really that good and then the match is not that good it can ultimately hurt both wrestlers but in this situation he came out even better you know people want to see him and i think triple h needs to do all he can if there's any power he has to protect la knight i think this needs to be the year for him in my opinion to win the money in the bank a lot of people have talked about this uh a lot of people have speculated that he should win it or montez ford i think montez ford can you know get his climb uh you know into the to the the mid card division to you know upper card you know potentially through other means i don't think he needs money in the bank more than la knight i personally think it fits la knight to have the money in the bank briefcase for him to be in that match and for him to win it i know that crowd will go crazy because i think he's just for the especially for the hardcore fans and even for the casual fans i think people are buying into him more and more and more and him winning money in the bank needs to be on their list 
Now you can say, oh, maybe he should beat Gunther. Or maybe he should go to Monday Night Raw and beat Austin Theory. And to that, I would say I don't think that's the right route. Only because, once again, he still is a heel. Uh, and even if they turned him babyface, which I don't think they should do. I think they should keep him where he is now. Perfect the way he is. Uh, I, I just don't think it's his time to beat Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship. I would like to see Montez maybe do that. I think that would be cool. Now, on, on the other side of things, or for Austin Theory for his United States Championship, uh, I just don't I don't see that right now. I know they are the future for WWE, but I just don't see LA Knight taking down taking down Austin Theory once again. Both of these guys are heels, so I think a baby face should be someone that take down these uh these champions. And right now, even though uh LA Knight gets a baby face reaction, he's still in that mode of you know, he likes to talk trash, he will take the easy way out, but at the same time, people find him cool. So I, I don't think that's the route. I think money in the bank suits him. That's why I say that. That's why I say him getting it that way. That would be cool if you're trying to build up that baby face to overcome the odds, to overcome the heel. But him being such a cool heel and people like him, it makes sense for him to have the briefcase so that way he can make the, the most opportune moment on when he's going to cash in. And for example, the speculation that Cody may win it at SummerSlam this year, uh, win the titles at SummerSlam. All right, cool, whatever. Say that does happen. And say you have Cody hold the titles for you know maybe six months or whatnot and say there's a situation where cody has a hard fought match against whoever it could be it could be seth it could be randy not sure just a hard fought match cody's drained you hear la Knight's music i'm gonna be honest with you i know people love cody but i think la Knight cashing in on a cody reigns i mean cody reign uh cody rhodes title reign at the end of a match, if he's tired and he's beaten up, he's battered, I think the fans will pop. I think it will be one of those situations, if you guys remember, when Dolph Ziggler, who was a heel, uh, cashed in on Alberto Del Rio, who was a face, and the crowd went insane. Granted, that was a different situation, but I think you can have that, that type of vibe here. I think especially if he gets more wins he wins the money in the bank he comes off as someone as credible that could you could see as a world champion he's just gonna pick his spots he's talking trash like it doesn't matter who wins cody roman doesn't matter all when it's all said and done you're gonna be talking about la Knight as your new wwe universal world heavyweight champion something like that and he finally cashes in the crowd's gonna go crazy I'm going to go crazy, and I like Cody, but it's just one of those things, if that does happen, you have a new star made, and I, I think this is why it's one of those situations where it benefits if Cody is the one to take the titles off of Roman, because I don't see anyone else doing it, and sooner rather than later, not waiting till WrestleMania 40, because then you can have interesting setups if LA Knight does win money in the bank, and now you can try to speculate when he's going to cash in on Cody because you know it's going to happen and it makes sense. LA Knight's not cashing in if he wins money in the bank. He's not cashing in on Roman as the champ. It's not happening. Roman's not losing the titles in a money in a bank briefcase uh, run in. So, it makes sense for whenever Roman does drop the titles to whoever, preferably Cody, I think that would be a good moment. I think that would be interesting. I, I think even LA Knight just teasing, I'm going to cash in on you, Cody. You just don't know it yet. And they're back and forth on the microphone. I think that would be great. And once again, it's all about building new stars. And I just think WWE has someone very special on their hands. The fans are organically buying into him without them. And he hasn't been winning many matches, but they're buying into him. So I think this is the year they need to you know listen to the fans really keep pushing him because he is the future the dude got it all he has to do is get that believability that he can win those important matches and you know i think you got someone special i think you got a potentially another main event superstar it just all depends on how they book him so comment down below let me know do you guys feel like la Knight should win money in the bank 
uh this year and ultimately become the new champion at some point whenever roman drops the title do y'all think this is his year to win money in the bank or do y'all think maybe it's not maybe he should go another route and maybe going for gunther's intercontinental championship or um austin theory's united states championship do y'all think that should be the route him going the mid card route before jumping into the main event scene let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel road to 150k and i am still your undisputed youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace